special event, if ever there was one. Which of these teams, Olympiacos or Real Madrid, will bring it home to their fans? Oh, what a play! Oh, what a move, what a finish! Olympiacos Boreas have gone off to a near perfect start. There's no better way to start the season than with two of the best. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Turkish Airlines EuroLeague Watch Along, where you get to watch the EuroLeague game of the week. I'm your host, Anthony Goods, rep representing Swiss Cultures, and we got a very, very special guest. He's played all over the world, and more importantly, he's got a lot of Euro Cup, a lot of EuroLeague buckets, and uh, I'm excited to have him on. So please give a nice watch along welcome for my man, Brandon Paul. Brandon, how you doing, man? I'm good, man. I'm good. Thanks for having me on the show. Uh, this looks like it's going to be a lot of fun, man. It's an exciting game. Two big teams. Uh, crazy atmosphere, too. Yeah, I mean, if anybody knows about the atmosphere, it would be you. You know what I'm saying? So how, uh, yeah. how does it feel, man, watching your former team take on, you know, obviously we got two of the most uh, story teams in, uh, in EuroLeague. Uh, you know, Madrid, continental champion, 10-time continental champions, and uh, Olympiacos. Uh, three-time uh, EuroLeague champion, but uh, how does it feel to uh, watch these two square off? It's fun. It's always exciting watching basketball, but, you know, when you get to see your friends on the court, you know, guys that you played with, guys that you played against, uh, guys that you kind of grew with, you know, in a sense, in the basketball world, you know, it's a lot of familiar faces on the court. You know, it's very exciting. Yeah, no, nah, I think it's, uh, it's going to be a really uh, cool game. Um, you know, just to kind of catch everybody up last week, um, Real Madrid, you know, won a, uh, won a nice game against Ephes, uh, who were the champs, 82-69, you know, as, as a former player of Ephes, man, like how, how, how drastic was that loss? Like, uh, you know, especially coming off a championship, man, uh, that's, uh, it's kind of tough to, to lose like that. Yeah, it's never easy to take a loss, but when it's like that, you know, and, and like you said, they, they just won the championship. And, you know, Madrid is always stacked. They're always a powerhouse, you know, and, and what FS has been able to do the last few years, uh, to see them go down that like that, it was it, – I wasn't expecting that. I did watch the game. Um, but, you know, it's a long season. I'm sure they're looking forward to their revenge when they go – when they get the next matchup. So, you know, we'll see how Madrid goes tonight. Yeah, and I, I I like the uh I like the battle of the bigs, man. Now that the starting fives are in, looks like they got a uh, Olympiacos is gonna have a um, Mustafa Fall going head up with a uh, you know the the tall skyscraper and uh Walter Tavares, man. What do, what do you think about those two bigs? You know what, um, Tavares is different, man. He's he's a different beast out there. He changes so much in the game, you know. And as a guard, you know, I played against him a few times. When you go to that lane, you think about that a lot. Like you don't want to put them mm -hmm. shot up. So just having that presence is is a lot different. I'm not I'm not too familiar with the other big, but you know obviously he's he's on a big stage right now, and uh, I'm sure he's going to hold his own. So it'll be exciting. Yeah, man. I mean Tavares is is obviously a load, and uh, you know we're gonna we're gonna see a big man basketball. Hopefully, man. I I really hope they get touches, man, and uh, you know we can kind of. Kind of get a night, kind of get a lot of out of the bigs tonight because I mean I think as as with every uh, as with every game you're always going to have good guard play and as we see uh, Spanulis, your guy just the recently retired. The yeah, they showing they giving him <laughs> giving him some nice screen time right now. I don't know. Look at him. He look like he got a fashion sense to too. You know what I mean? He got the jean jacket. Did he yeah. always come? Uh, hey he man, came dressed like. Hey, his sh his shoe game is different. I tell you that much. His shoe game is something crazy. Yeah. He always has. I say, yo, I wear size fourteen. If you could put in a good word for me, go ahead and, and let me know. You know, but no, nah, he's <laughs> he's always coming. He's always dressed to impress. And uh, I really, I, I want to check out his shoe closet one day because it was crazy. He would come in with some different stuff every day. Hey, was there was there a particular shoe you was just like, yo, man, I gotta have that. 
that you remember? You know what? I'm not a big shoe head. You know, I'm I'm not okay. Uh, I'm not a big sneaker head. I, if I see something that I like, I'll, I'll ask boys about it. You know, my boy Drew Crawford, who's in Andorra, and my guy Sanjay Lumpkin uh, back home. He's they're 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 the sneaker heads. Like if I if I have a question about shoes, I hit one of them up. Um, I had Drew mm-hmm. order me some shoes when I was in China a couple of years ago. Um, so they they stay on top of it, but. I like I like a little bit more designer. I like a little bit more dressy, more than uh, basketball. I end up giving them up. I end up giving away all my basketball shoes, anyways. Okay, yeah, nah, it's funny, man. Uh, I mean, you look at Real and Olympiacos had two retired players and uh, Felipe Reyes and uh, Spanulis, but uh, you know, yeah. it's uh, it's always it always sucks to see the legends leave, but it does uh, it does it does give space for you know some new faces to come and you know kind of take the reins. So, uh, you know, much respect to, you know, to both of those yeah. gentlemen. And it looks like the game's about to yeah, get started sure. here. I played against, ooh, there we go. Yeah, I mean, Felipe, that's a lot of rebounds that uh, mm-hmm. he's accumulated in his career. And obviously Spinulis with his assist and points. Uh, right. That's why they call him Billy Goat. Yo, what was it like playing with us? Uh, I'm Spinulis? excited to see this new Olympiacos team. It was good, man. He was he was a good teammate. Uh, obviously, he's he wasn't um, the Spinulis that you know when I played against him in in Ephesus, which which was a, a different beast. You know, guarding him, mm-hmm. I was talking before. There's a couple guys that I don't like to be caught on an island with, and he's definitely one of them. You know, uh, right. he's just so talented and so skilled. Sometimes you know what he's gonna do, but he still doesn't anyway. And you're just like, damn, right. why why'd you let why why'd you let him get that shot off? But he was just special like that. Yeah. Do you remember playing against me? Like any any specific moments yeah, playing I against me? I definitely remember that. Tough yeah, shot. you know, we when I was with Ephes, we played them first round in the playoffs, and uh, one just just in particular, you know, I, they were like, "Hey, this is Spinulis. You know, you got to be careful. Watch your hands. You know, he's gonna get some calls." Mm-hmm. Oh, Tavares already got got a quick little bow. Um, but you know, playing against them, I, I remember playing in, at at the piece of Friendship Stadium, and the fans. This is where the fans were are still, you know, they're wild, but they were even wilder before. Someone shined mm-hmm. a laser in my eye when I was shooting a free throw, <laughs> and the refs well, saw that... it, and they had they had to tell the scorekeepers and everything. I had to shoot the re, I had to re shoot the free throw. Um, but Garden Spinulis, you know, there's a there's a play that everyone knows in mm-hmm. Europe that they, they call it the Spinulis play. And, uh, you know, that that's it wasn't too fun trying to chase him off these screens. Yeah, nice. Uh, I don't know got fouled on that one. Yeah, nah, I mean, I, I really enjoy watching mm-hmm. Spinulis, man. And, uh, you know, obviously he's going to go down as one of the one of the greats ever, greatest ever to play in, uh, play in Europe, man. So, you know, hats off to him and his shoe game. His shoe game probably, from, from the sounds of it, it looks like his shoe game going down in the Hall of Fame, too. Yeah. <laughs> he definitely got some style with him, you know. His, his, I'm, I'm, I'm sure his kids got their closets are, are real nice. Probably looking better than my closet, to be honest. <laughs> All right. Who is, who is the best Who's the best dressed player in EuroLeague in your time? Who is the best dressed that you saw? In EuroLeague? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I really didn't pay attention to that. I just, I would like to see okay. myself. Um, okay. I'm not too flashy, but I, I like to dress well. I like, I like fashion and, and trying out different things. You know, I had a handful of stylists kind of reach out to me over the years, but I, I don't think I'd ever pay someone to, to do what I can do myself. You know what I mean? So, um, but you got, okay. you got, you got a lot of guys that are stylish out here. Uh, I, I, I definitely enjoy uh, seeing the different fits online and, you know, on Instagram and stuff like that. Right. Okay, it looks like these guys are gonna battle it out here. Mm, that's a that's a cash. Oof. Mm. Whenever Sasha mm-hmm. puts up a shot, I think it's I They're think like it's going in. He's one of the best right. shooters I ever played with. And that's that's one person you don't wanna you don't wanna shoot for money. I used to shoot half court shots with him uh, almost after practice and for for whatever reason i just kept playing with him he just kept taking my money it's <laughs> it's crazy how much money i gave him that year it really is crazy like Did you win out and be like you were shooting with him again i won some yeah i, I got some money back but okay. overall it, it it wasn't pretty. right, right. He, 
He shot like 50% from the half court line. It was crazy. Wow. Tough ball. Man, Real Madrid is stacked. <laughs> they got they got a lot of talent. Yeah, they are. Man, they they just got like an army, man. Even on the bench, man, it's crazy. Mm-hmm. Shoot, I played with um, a ball day when I was here six years ago in Spain, and I played with Hertel and Ephes. Mm -hmm. Played against Jeff Taylor when he was in college and Real Madrid. He's been there for years. I think he might have been yeah, there. Yeah, he's career. been there forever. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they uh, yeah, looks like both teams got some nice uh, nice additions this year in the early going. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tough shot. So, yeah, this is my so first time was... seeing Olympic Olympiacos play since our last game. Basically. Oof. And yeah, what do you what do you remember about the arena and the fans? The arena, it's 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 so much fun to play there. You know, it doesn't even matter if you're playing with or against them. Uh, I had a lot of fun both times I played there when I was, you know, with FS and when I was with the Blimpiacos. Um the Greek fans are they're very passionate. They're very passionate. You know, some would say almost to a fault, but you know, they love their teams. They love their sports. Uh, you'll never see anybody wearing some green in the crowd, I'll tell you that. <laughs> um, and the, the game against Panathinaikos, that's – I feel like the Panathinaikos and um, Olympiacos rivalry kind of makes uh, Duke and UNC look like, you know, Rugrats in Paris because you got fire oh, in the stands. Sure. You got people ready to fight, ready to die. It's crazy. Yeah, no, that's definitely uh that's definitely a bucket list atmosphere I want to experience for sure. That's mm -hmm. a that's a rivalry like no other. And for for everybody back home, you could tune in live to the uh the this game and many other Euroleague games at euroleague.net. Uh for you can go to euroleague.net for more info, euroleague.tv. Uh, right now, we're having a promotion. If you type in Watch Along 10, you'll get 10% off, excluding those of you that live in Italy and Spain. But uh, Watch Along 10 is the promo code to get 10% off of EuroLeague TV. I would say the first time I played, um, when I, the first time I played Peace Offensive Stadium, they they had the little the flares and the fires in the crowd, right? You know, they, they mm -hmm. put the barriers in front of the in front of the players so you can't throw nothing at them. But when I got there to play, uh they they had signs in where it didn't happen anymore. So that was a little disappointing. Like I understood it, okay. but it was a little disappointing because it was that would have been really fun. They they brought them back when we played Panathinaikos, but overall Okay. Uh but the atmosphere is, is something crazy. Yeah, no, I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad they they started to you know take those steps to protect the players around uh, around Europe. I mean, because I mean the fans are just so passionate, man. It's uh, can be dangerous sometimes, man. It looks like we got a low scoring game here. Yeah, we'll see. We got a real low know. scoring game. Somebody got to get something going. My first game in the Turkish league when I was with Ephes, we showed up to this gym and uh, there was no fans in the crowd. And I was like, I was like, what's going on? And then in Turkey, you can only play, I think it's six foreigners at like eight. Okay. So me and um, Deshaun were, were sitting out. And so I'm like, why, why is there no fans? He's like, oh, we played them last year and they threw lighters and stuff at us after the game. So they, they said they couldn't come oh, this wow. game. And it's just, it's crazy <laughs> how normal that is. Right. Happens all the time. Man, but, and both of these teams, they got to slow it down. There you go. That's a good timeout. Definitely got to slow it down, it's man. But like, they'll pick it up. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's been a lot of – it's been good defense, though. I feel like defense is a little – is always a little faster to come along, uh, especially in the beginning of the season, you know, in regards to basketball. Usually, sometimes mm -hmm. the offense takes a little – takes a little longer to develop, you know, over the course of a season. Right. Um, but, you know, I think uh, somebody got to get it going on one side or the other. Yeah, you got it all. 
a lot of new faces playing with each other too. They're tr- probably trying to get some sort of camaraderie true. build up. True, true. So who is like your favorite teammate to play with in your league? In your league? Mm, yeah. I had a handful of those guys, man. I mean, my team with Ephes was so much fun. You know, I had so much fun playing with those guys. Uh, Jason Granger is one of my closest friends out here. You know, Tyler Honeycutt, rest in peace. You know, and Deshaun was on our team. Alex Kirk. Uh, we had a we had a great group. Brian Dunstan is definitely one of my favorite guys to play with. Definitely one of my least favorite to play against. You know, um, but he's just one of those guys that drinks the fountain of youth. You know, he doesn't take plays off. He doesn't take. You know, he, every every day of practice is like he plays his practices like he's playing the game. You know, we all got right, guys right, that. Right. You know, myself included, I've been guilty of coming in like, ah, I don't got it today. You know, this he's yep, I've never yep. seen him come to practice with that type of mentality. Like, I don't got it today. No, he's he's doing everything, you know, Dolce by by on the team. He's uh, he's definitely one of my favorite teammates to play with. You know, great guy. Um, you know, Olympiacos, I had a lot of guys over there. You know, Will is one of my closest friends. I've known Will for you. I played with Will uh, when I was in Canton back in Mm-hmm. Shoot, this might have been 2013, 2014. Um, KP was on the squad. Augie, who's now with Bayern. You know, there's a lot of guys out here. You know, I get to see. I'm excited to see uh, Shaq get in the game, you know. And he, he signed with us late in the season with the Lippianacos yeah. once we had our, you know, second coaching change. Uh, another good mm-hmm. dude out there. And, you know, he can hoop. He's definitely one of those guys. He can just, he's a hooper. Yeah, it looked like we got a we got a YouTube comment for you. Olympiaco Styra Seven says, "Brandon, my man, you were my favorite player when you played at Olympiacos." From Styra Seven, uh, appreciate that, man. I appreciate that. Always love from the Olympiacos fans. Even when I went back this summer, you know, people saw me eating with my friends, and they they came up to said hi, you know, and they're just so passionate. So that's something that I always appreciate about Greece. Yeah, what's your uh, what, what's your favorite? What was your favorite restaurant? In Athens? Favorite restaurant? Ooh, ooh, that's tough. There were so many. You know, I would say the two that I went to probably every single week, uh, Panorama, which is in Vulegmeni, and the mm-hmm. one right next door to it, Garby. You know, those are two of my favorite spots. Uh, both both seafood spots, which is ironic because I'm allergic to shellfish. But, but <laughs> I basically only ate fish and like vegan foods in Greece. Um, so okay. I can eat me some like some good white fish. Um, but those two spots were so good, man. You know, it was on the water. Right. Uh, Greece is a vibe. Oh, almost all my favorite yeah. restaurants yeah. were on the water. So it was it was definitely nice. Yeah, that's what I hear, man. Uh, we got another comment from MJ Goat. Brandon, do you think do you think that Spanulis is the Kobe? of Europe because you played with him. He wants to know, do you think Spanulis is the Kobe of Europe? Um, I think Spanulis is the Spanulis of Europe. Oh, I don't, I'm not a big okay. fan of people trying to, and I, I, I understand it, but people, you know, say, oh, he plays more like MJ. He plays more like Kobe. No, he plays more like himself. You know, there's, there's one right. Spanulis, there's one Billy Goat. Mm-hmm. And if I'm thinking about other European players, I really don't, see anyone else that plays like him you know he's one of a kind mm-hmm. and uh he'll go down in history not as just one of the greatest in europe but just in basketball you know you go to the nba you know people know his name you know people know his career yep. and you know what for he's sure. done for for europe and the the mark that he's left so uh, I, I would say he's the spinulis of, of european basketball okay well, it looks like the scoring starting to pick up here in the game a little bit we almost had a we almost had double figures. Mm-hmm. Kosas at the line. Uh, he's he's another one of my favorite teammates, man. He's just he's one of those guys. Who's just all, he's all for the team. You know, it, it doesn't matter if he's in the yeah. game or if he's not in the game. He just wants to do. He wants the team to do well. Uh, very passionate, and um, you know, he just does his job. Does his job well. Yeah, I love his game. He definitely man. has the ability to change the game. Oh, for sure. Oh, my God. Nigel bringing the ball up. I actually saw Nigel in the airport, man, on the – what was it, yesterday? I seen him yesterday really? in the airport. Yeah, on his way <laughs> out to Athens. 
Yeah, man, it's been a lot of turnovers early on, man. I almost played with Nigel when I signed with Olympiacos. I hit him up. Um, okay. And I was just like, yo, we're excited to play. And he was like, yeah, bro, we should be all right. Then he signed with Utah, like, a couple weeks later. Oh, okay. So he ended up going to the league. Um, okay. It's actually freed up my number. So it was – I was excited to play with him, but <laughs> it freed up my number so I could wear number three. So it was all good. <laughs> okay. What's number, what's oh, number three a, mean to that. you? Yeah. Yeah, got to. Got to count that. Um – yeah, that that was in there. I would say, out of all the players that wore number three, Allen Iverson is probably the the main reason why I wear it. You know, it was he mm -hmm. was like my favorite player growing up. Um, you know, I I got some like some D Wade comparisons when I was in college and early in my career, but I don't really like to tailor my game after too much. But I, I just I I love watching Allen AI play. Uh, I love watching D Wade play. I remember I had this reversible. I was in middle school, reversible like football Allen Iverson jersey. Half of it was red, half of it was white. It said Iverson on the back. I used to wear that joint like two, three times a week. I didn't care what anybody said. I didn't care what people would tease me. That was my favorite right. shirt, man. I wish I still had it to this day. Yeah. Nah, AI was AI was different, man. He definitely changed the game of basketball. Rudy. Oh, no, sir. Okay, we out. Yeah, the game's a little sloppy, but they'll, they'll pick it up. Uh, no, nah, it'll high. definitely pick up. It'll definitely pick up. In the meantime, all the fans, please leave your comments. We're here. We're here all day. We, we'll answer anything. Uh-oh. Pull up. Sasha's active. He's being active. Missed a couple mm -hmm. shots early, but he'll get it back. A couple more free throws. Yeah, Three offensive rebounds. Oh, no, three fouls. Mm-hmm. He sold that one a little bit, but you got to do that yeah, sometime yeah. to get the call. Got to, got to. That's part of that's part of playing in Europe. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta learn the tricks of the trade, like you know, especially. And I feel like you never really start to focus on it until you get got on those fouls for a while. You get a couple, you know, of those little floppy fouls caught on you. You're like, all right, let me start learning some of these tricks. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Got to throw your head back a little bit, your hands up, flail Everything, a little bit. man. I used to wrap arms up. Exactly. I think my first um, – one of my first yearly games was at Cheska. Uh, mm -hmm. And I think it was Corey Higgins. I was guarding Corey Higgins, mm -hmm. and he got me like two, three quick fouls in like the first quarter. I was sick. Because I was so amped for the game, too. I was so pumped to play. He he did right. one where he ripped through. Okay, I'll take that one. He did one where he, he drove by and kind of locked my arm up. I said, I definitely got to learn these tricks. Because yeah. now I'm out the game nice. and I'm hot, but uh, exactly I'm smart. Especially when you get in the first half. <laughs> you don't even get a rhythm. Mm -hmm. Those be the worst. If you get That's two tough. quick ones early in the first half, it's sickening. Yeah, you might not see the the floor until beginning of the third after that. Yeah. Oof. Baseline screen. I'll let him get and going. Tavares set, hey, Tavares, Tavares set that screen. It's like an eclipse. <laughs> it's over. It's over. It's over, bro. <laughs> There's certain people you definitely don't want to be screened by. He's one of them. I remember, uh, I remember Big Sofo. And all they have man. to do is they stick it out a little bit. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I played against him once, and that was this when I was with Olympiacos. Um, Sofo. And I think it was just a friendly game. Yeah. Okay. I think it was just a friendly game, to be honest. Oof. Well, do something with it. Travel. Oh, this game kind of tight. Yeah, they are. Ooh, they could have called that one. Yeah, I know. They missed yeah, that one. Yeah. yeah. It looks like they're going to play for the last shot here. 
Who do you think's taking it? Uh, let's see here. Sir, well, I think okay, they're gonna call foul. All right, so now we got six seconds left. I see. I think they're going back to Sergio. I think yeah. they're gonna run something quick to Sergio. Or they might use him as a decoy. He throw that. He, what he... Oh, you inbounding? Oh, it might be that quick handoff yeah, though. He might get. He might get it right back. Yeah, mm -hmm. quick handoff. There it is. Screen reef. Ah, wasn't open. Mm -mm. Rudy, nothing. And that sums up Not the bad. first quarter. Yeah, low scoring game, man. I feel like you know both teams came out a little rusty on the off, off offensive end, but uh, you know they're gonna regroup and uh, get it back together. Meanwhile, everybody back home I'd like to let y'all know. EuroLeague has its own fantasy challenge right now. You can put your own fantasy challenge team together. You can play with your friends. You can buy, trade players, do whatever you like and win great prizes. Please go to fantasychallenge.euroleague.net. B. Paul, if you, had to, if you had to put together a EuroLeague fantasy team, who are you drafting first? Who are you putting on that thing first this season? Oof. Oof. Who am I drafting first? It might have to be Tavares, man. He's just a, he's he changes so much in the paint. You know, okay. and if you have that kind of centerpiece, you could build around yeah. it, get somebody to give him the ball, get somebody to put the ball in the basket. But if you got defensive centerpiece like that, somebody that's gonna get your guard shots i might have to start with him yeah i think i think i would i think i would go with shved i like alexi because i mean he gives you he gives you so much passing and shooting and scoring obviously um i like alexi because he's a he's a stat sheet stat stat sheet stuffer those are tongue twisted for you but a stat yeah, sheet stuffer uh i like uh i like alexi man yeah, and well, they run so everything got four too. rebounds. Like guarding him is definitely oh, yeah. not fun. It's active. Yeah, nah, for they run sure. Run everything to for sure. Alexis Chavez. Like, man, my yeah, first nah, year he moved um, over to Cheska when now, I went so. undrafted. Mhm. Mm oh, that's right. Is he healthy? Yeah, yeah, he played. Is he, is he uh, playing? He I, haven't, I haven't caught them play yet. Yeah, yeah he played last yeah, week. My when I went undrafted, I played with Minnesota. And he was he was that's that's who he was with at the time. Um and he was mm -hmm. like he was like playing open gym with the with the summer league team and everything and I was like, I know who he was. I was like, This dude is tough. Like who who is this guy? Mm -hmm. And then of course I saw him a few years later, Euro League. Um, but nah, he could definitely hoop, man. Yeah, nah, a he's bucket. a hooper for real. Yep. Indeed. And we back in the second quarter, Sergio. Sergio he about to warm the oven up. Right off the bat. Man, if they if they going. get a couple ba baskets in a row, like they can take the game over real quick. Oh yeah, real for quick. sure, for sure. Sergio got a little pop in his legs now. He don't hit two. He don't hit two buckets. Last little bit. Oh. Mm -hmm. That tough. That shot, man. There we go. That's, that's a tough shot. That's his shot. Underrated. No one will ever duplicate that. <laughs> Man, I just see him take, him, take so many of those shots in practice and games. It's crazy. Some people just got that touch, man. Okay, mm -hmm. now it's like, <laughs> like both teams came out hot. Okay. Some energy. There we go. I'm ready to see uh, Shaq take off on somebody. Just give him the open lane. No, no, you know, you know it's about time. to happen. You know it's about to happen. Mm-hmm. But you, you, you used to take off a little ones bit too when I played with him. You had a few yeah, crazy. I, I still ones got too. it. I'm just trying to. I got to get my legs back <laughs> under me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey man, that's the vet. That's the vetting oh, you boy, talking. Uh, that's the vetting you talking. <laughs> 
Yeah, I still feel young, though. I just got to get back. You know, my shot's falling pretty well right now, um, but I can't fall in love with three. I got I to gotta get back to the basket. And, you know, so I, I do miss putting people on posters, so I got to get back to that. Nah, that shot put, he loves that shot with his left. Is that clean? Yeah, we tell. have uh, that one's we, clean. We got a viewer, uh, Joseph Bertrand. Excuse me if I pronounce any of your names wrong. Has asked whether you're dressing for Halloween. <laughs> Shout out to Joe B. That's my college teammate, Joseph Bertrand. Talk about bounce. Okay. He has some bounce now. You can you can YouTube his highlights. Um, that's a good question, man. The last time I dressed up, I went as Killmonger from Black Panther, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it this year. I don't really have okay. I don't really have too much in me out here, but um, but no, I, we we definitely have some some good Halloween stories together. Shout out to Joe B. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, I think <clears throat> Real is gonna be trying to push the pace a little bit now. You got Nigel and Sergio in there. Yeah. They got so many point guards. Like they might they might they be do. in the game with three playmakers. A anybody can, sure. can can take up and, and make a play, you know? And they can all shoot it. <laughs> Sergio, Nigel, you got Hertel, a lot of those guys. Yeah. There you go right there. There we go. There you go, Nigel, right on cue. We'll try and get it to Yorgo. Oof, Rudy with the defense. There we go. Man, shout out to Rudy, man. Just playing so consistent over a career that long, man. At such a high level. Yeah. He has some you know good I mean? time in the league, like, too. Nah, I know. And I'm saying, like, to, I mean, to come back, you know, being a, okay, there we go. Come back and just playing at the level that he's playing in uh, in EuroLeague, man. Uh, you know, shout out to him, man. I know he, he's got to take great care of his body. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's one thing I've definitely tried to do more when I've, uh, as I got older, is choose wisely what I'm eating. Um, mm -hmm. Can't be eating the same stuff I was eating in college, you know. Yeah, a little nah, different for now. sure. All right, you cook? Uh, I used to. That's a no. That's a no. I That's I don't a have no. The patience That's a no. and time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you I, hear I me just with don't that have up, the patience or time to do it, man. Yeah, I think I spoiled myself. I spoiled myself finding all these nice restaurants and, you know, right. some of the places give me discounts because I, I, I'm like a frequent customer. Um, mm -hmm. But no, I don't I don't cook as much as I probably should. But I do eat. I do eat pretty well. You know, I try to eat healthy as I can. Okay. Nah, that's what's up, man. We got another question. JL9 says, what is your favorite EuroLeague court to play on? My favorite EuroLeague court to play on. Hmm. It's a good question. You know, I'm gonna have to say Zalgiris because that's like an NBA arena. Like okay. their place is crazy. Like the fans get wild. They're, even the MC knows. Like they they really treat it like it's an NBA game, and and they put the money okay. into it. Um, but it's just a fun atmosphere over there. It's a real fun atmosphere, uh, and it's kind of it kind of reminds you a little bit, I guess you could say. Um, but okay. I would have to say them. It's just it's fun over there. Okay. It's a good question. Good question. Yeah, my man Irish Spring said, "Tell Brandon we need I the Braves back." back in. <laughs> a lot of people tell me that. Man. It's so much. Um, it's so much maintenance. It's so much maintenance. Uh, now yeah, I just wake true. up, I shower, I don't got to worry about nothing. I don't got to put no do-rag on. I don't got to get my hair washed or straightened or anything like that. <laughs> it was fun while it lasted. It was fun while it lasted, but I don't know. It, it might be over for that.
is more, yeah, I guess nah. you could say, more um, mature look. Okay. Man, they're really trying to take it. They're really trying to take it to the Vars in the paint. You can tell that's uh, they definitely trying to get him in foul trouble if possible. Man, you got that float game yeah. down. I just so solid. Mm. A ball is in the game now. Another one of my guys mm -hmm. with him here. Uh, you six years ago, you know when he was a young, young, uh, young blood. Kind of still is, but okay. now he's playing right. with the national team and everything. It's been great to see his success. He's another player that. He's another player that literally didn't take plays off in practice. Like, I got so much better competing against him. Uh, you know, he right. just wants to get better. You know, he plays hard. Uh, takes, you know, it's, it's good to have teammates that take practice seriously because then even if you're not in the mood to do something, you you, you ain't got no – you got to match the intensity. Right, yeah, and you get a good look. You go that pop shot again. Yep. That's his bread and butter right there. Make a play now. I guess I'm going to look. No, sir. They got two big bodies in there. Vincent Poirier is pretty big, too, now. Mm -hmm. oh, right on cue. Oh, oh, yeah. There you go. Right on cue. <laughs> got the ten, Twin Towers out there. It's crazy mm -hmm. how many different looks so Riyadh can give you, man. Yeah. It's like it just never stops, man. You know, when you go through the scouting reports and you're like, yo, this guy is red guy. This guy, you can short close out. This guy, you can do, like, right. you really can't do that with Real Madrid. You got to play everybody right. really, really solid. Similar to Barcelona. Oh, that's a fact. I like it, man. Both teams playing good basketball now, man. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. Starting to pick up for sure. Man, this is a great question here by J Walt TV. J Wall TV said, Do you think Hanga is the most underrated player on Madrid's roster? Oof. Oof. Probably I think Adam Hanga's one of I think he's Probably. one of the most underrated players in, in Euroleague. You know, I don't think he's talked about enough, I should say. Yeah. I think he he gives a lot to we to haven't the teams even that seen. He's on. Yeah, is he is he he's healthy right now, right? Yeah, he's yeah, healthy. he was we uh, he even started seen him or he Jeff started. Taylor right now, and they're and they're no, both started. Like, <laughs> oh, that's right, that's right. No, nah, he's definitely underrated. He can he can yeah, play nah, both ends I like of the floor. Him a lot. Both ends of the floor, man. He gives you so much. I don't know about that call. Yeah. I'm not just grooving. Mm. What's in here? A lot more scoring in the second quarter, man. Who, uh, if... let's see. While we got a little break, let me remind you guys, please, please, please go check out the fantasychallenge.euroleague.net. And also, please go watch Euroleague TV and type in Watch Along 10 is the promo code you're going to use on Euroleague TV to get 10% off, excluding Italy and Spain. Again, that's ex excluding Italy and Spain, unfortunately, but get 10 go. Go check out Euroleague TV, get you 10% off, and, uh, you know, come visit us every week. We're going to be here. It looks so what like are you doing right now? If you're almost a full house. Yeah, not nah, for sure. I was going to ask, though, like, what, what would you do if you're Olympiacos? It seems like, it seems like obviously, Real's getting a lot of, causing a lot of damage on that pick and roll. Uh, 
you know, with Nigel and, and even mm -hmm. Sergio, would you would you switch up the coverage? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to try to see if I can tell what type of covers there are, whether they're trying to force weak or maybe force to the screen. It looks like Yorgos was it doing seems, a, it. It seems like they're sending it to the middle so and get back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Looks like they're forcing it to the middle and then Nigel's getting kind of mm -hmm. deep and, you know, it's either the floater or, you know, the lob to Tavares is what I've seen a couple of times. Um, yeah, he's doing a great job probing and ain't making plays. Yeah. Exactly. But no, they might they might have to make an adjustment at halftime. We'll see. Three easy ones. I wish I I wish I could give a a guess of who's gonna take the game, but it's it's tough. I, I feel like it might go down to the wire. Yeah, nah, for sure. Yeah, they definitely gone. So you see that? Looks like it's definitely gonna come to the You see that foul Yoro just made? Mm-hmm. I feel like that that same call changed the game last night with. Panathinaikos and uh, and uh, Fenerbahce, they called yeah. like back to back. What sportsman like calls? Oh, right, right. It's 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 hard to it's hard to tell, you know, what type of fouls you can give now. They changing the rules a bit. Right. Nigel taking yeah, off. Yeah, no, know it's tough. Yeah, I'm telling you, Nigel's killing in that pick and roll today, man. Jeff Taylor out there. Jeff Taylor in the game. You might have to trap Nigel, but then you're giving up something. Man, I mean, low key, I'd give it a shot, especially in these last three minutes while it's still pretty close, just to kind of see what it looks like. I might even hedge, you right. know, just to see if he gets it out of his hands quick. You know what I mean? Because, I mean, he's grooving yeah. right now. And especially with, with, with Tavares setting those, you know, those, those big screens, man, it's uh, it's tough. Yeah, and like the the thing about guards like that, like him and Hertel, they're so fast that if you trap them, mm -hmm. you really you really got to make sure that they don't break out of the trap. Like you got to keep them right. In the right it's got to be a they out, They drag the defense so far out. Yeah, for sure. And so like like that, you got to be careful. Yo, so we got a fan that asked where you played uh, in okay. EuroLeague. Oh, there we go, Shaq. Jab, Yumper. Yeah, he just got on the board. Uh, played with FS 2016-2017. And then I played with Olympiacos um, 2018. No, that was 2019. Was that 2018? 2020, I think. Oh, 2019-2020. Yeah. Yeah, 2019-2020, and that's when um, our season got stopped due to COVID, unfortunately. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we weren't able to finish that season out. Yeah, we're trying to get Nigel some looks here. Mm -hmm. Oof. Defense. I like Thomas's walk-up's game. Yeah. I'm definitely a fan of his game. I agree. I agree. We got a JL9 asks, who do you think is the best center right now in EuroLeague? The best center in EuroLeague. You know what? I haven't even watched so much EuroLeague this year. Um, just a hand, like uh, obviously a handful of games, but I'm gonna have to stick with Tavares, man. Like he's yeah. he's that piece. He's that piece that teams for wish sure. they had. He's he's nah, he's, for sure. he's, he's the anchor. Uh, he's a tower down there. He's a tower down there. Ooh, but a block block of charge. I need that replay. I need that replay. We need to check that one out. You can never get enough of how animated 
You can never get enough of how animated the uh, the or European car. That's a yeah. block. Yeah, that's definitely Good call. a block. So, how would you say like basketball in Euro League compares to like China or some of the other places you played? Um, I would say Euroleague is just like in European competition, every play matters. Every play counts. Mm -hmm. Every game counts. Um, you know, there was, there was one time in China where, um, you know, we were about to make the playoffs. We knew we was going to make the playoffs, but they wanted to match up against a certain team. So they didn't really care if we were going to win or lose one game. Um, but every everything everything matters in Europe. Everything matters in Euro League. The points even matter because uh, when yeah. it gets down to the last eight, you know they're checking to see what's going on with the point situation. And mm -hmm. I'm loving Lipiaco's energy right now too. They're getting yeah, they're nah, getting they points and they're coming right back. And um, for sure, yeah, they got a lot of heart out there. They're coming down to the last minute of the half. Yeah, different pace too different paces from, from here and like China or even Australia, uh, different, mm -hmm. different paced game, a bit more physical, I would say. Yeah. I think, uh, it's, it's funny to me how like every league you play in just has a different identity and, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's crazy, man. Even within Europe, every country got a different identity. And, uh, especially once you get to your league. Exactly. Man, uh, no better than that. But man, let's see. Uh, let's see who's gonna take this lead with them to halftime, man. It's so important. It's so important to have that lead going in the halftime, just for the vibes, you know, and the chemistry, and you know, mm -hmm. uh, just positivity, man. You always want to go up in it at halftime if you can. Of course. Right. Yeah. Cause you know, it's that, that feeling coming out into the third, like in the third, like, you know, you want the, you always want to focus on the first five minutes, but when you down, you need those first five minutes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. That's a crucial, it's a crucial. Yeah. So I don't know. I think, I think Madrid is going to go in with the lead. They might, they got the, they got the ball was a, a minute left. So they got two more shots, a couple more shots. Yeah. They're probably yep. going to get an offensive rebound if they miss. So they, they might get another shot after that. I'm going to go ahead and say uh, who's in the game right now. I'll wait till they come back out. Yes, Sasha, Tyra Other action. Onyx falls to Monaco. And overtime. That Oof. was a good game. That was a good game. Wow. Cheska's up 10 on Ephes yeah. in the third quarter, heading into the third quarter. And Albert Berlin down three to Asheville. Oh, man, Elliot Kobo's playing well for Asheville right now, man. Yeah. Oof. All right, let's see what they draw yeah, up for the last minute. Taking, taking a shot. Yeah. I feel like Hertel's going to get a shot up. He can, he can take things over, too, now. Oh. For sure. Offensive. Tough call. They call it offensive? Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know about that. I don't know. I don't know about that one. I don't know about that That's one. tough. You do uh you go two for right now, fifty two seconds left. Yeah, I'm doing that. Especially at home. Especially at home. Got a one point lead. I don't went oh, probably shot that floater. Okay. okay. Mm. Oof. Oof. Oh, they out. Rolling it down. Wide open. Bucket. 
tough. Don't worry. Tough. I don't need no two for one for that one. Oh. Real going in. It, they taking the lead going in at half? Oof. Oh, hit Sasha. Right now. Space, is, space is bad that right now. That's tough. That's not what you want. Uh-uh. I can tell yeah, space is bad. Everybody's like free throw line momentum speed. now. For sure. Yeah. Oh, Sasha's going to win. Now they're going in with some momentum. Thomas has hit his first shot. He's going to have some energy Indeed. in the second half, that's for sure. Indeed. So so up to this point, who's your uh, who's your MVP? MVP of the game, yeah, I have to give it to Nigel. He's, he's uh, keeping the show. Yeah. Um, he's 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 kind of running the offense. He's running the show. He's been the head of the snake so far. Uh, probably give it to him. If not him, then maybe Tavares. He's changing a lot of shots in the in the paint. He might not be scoring as much, but he's 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 making it. He's not making it easy on Olympiacos. Right. No, no doubt. I have to. Uh, yeah, I have to roll with you on that Nigel call. But everybody at home. Please let us know who's your MVP of the first half. And uh, as we uh, go into halftime, here's what's happening around the rest of EuroLeague. Oh, my goodness. That was so sweet. I was questioning whether he'd even hit the net. Granger spins his pass to Paul, who lets fly. Paul! Terrific play by Brandon Paul. And Paul at the other end for three. The script was written for Wilberkin. How many times has he done this in his career? Scotty Wilberkin matches his career high points performance. Wilberkin drives into the lane. He's fouled on the way to the basket and one. Mr. Swagger. Sean Thomas who gets the defensive rebound but gets him stolen from Wilberkin. 4 3. Wilberkin is on fire. Scotty Wilberkin at the buzzer. It's been the Wilberkin show. in the summer of 2001. 
the return of Pau Gasol to the Turkish Airlines EuroLeague after two decades away. He's had a great impact in you know the short time that he's been, uh, not just uh, me but the team. I think an uh, amazing decision by him to come to, to his to Barcelona, to his club, to finish his career here. He knows that we all respect him and we love him. I feel like that question was asked every summer. Oh, what about coming back? What about coming back? Yes, it's something that I started thinking about when I left 20 years ago. It would be nice to finish my career and come back where I started. You know, Barca, it's uh, my home. Welcome back, welcome back, everybody. We're here at halftime, and as you saw that uh, that that great piece on Pau Gasol, man, I uh, man, I just got a lot of respect for Pau Gasol, man. I mean, you're talking about one of the greatest European basketball players ever. Averaged 17 points, nine rebounds, a block and a half over a 18 year career in the United States, and uh, you guys hear me? You know, and he kept. And then he capped it off. Yeah, we on, baby. And then he, uh, you know, Pau Gasol capped his career off at uh, in, in Barcelona. Um, man, it's uh, once again, man, it, it sucks to see the legends, you know, hang it up. But at the same time, it's uh, it's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure watching him. Yo, Brandon, you got any? Uh, you got any favorite Pau Gasol moments? I think he's having a little difficulties, but I think, you know, me being from Southern California, I definitely, I definitely remember the back-to-back -back championships, you know, in 2009, 2010. Uh, I think Pau Gasol, man, he's, uh, he was a huge, huge part of that. Obviously, Kobe gets, Kobe gets a lot of the, uh, Kobe gets a lot of the attention for everything that, uh, all, or all those championships. Um, but I think Pau Gasol is is definitely definitely one of the uh definitely one of the, the most instrumental players of that Laker team. Um so I mean major shout out to Pau Gasol. Um and you know, best of luck to, you know, whatever he's uh whatever he's getting into next. You know, all the fans back home, please uh Leave comments. Let us know about your favorite Pau Gasol moments. You know, especially if anybody got any stories from when Pau was young in his in his younger Barcelona days. And um, yeah, no, definitely leave a leave something in the comments for us. Okay, so we got another video for you guys, and uh, we'll be right back. A special event, if ever there was one. Which of these teams, Olympiacos or Real Madrid? will bring it home to their fans. Oh, what a play! Oh, what a move, what a finish! Olympiacos Piraeus have gone off to a near the huh? club in the summer of 2001. The return of Pau Gasol to the Turkish Airlines EuroLeague after two decades away. He's had a great impact in you know, the short time that he's been, uh, not just uh, me, but the team. I think an uh, amazing decision by him to come to, to his to Barcelona, to his club, to finish his career here. He knows that we all respect him and we love him. I feel like that question was asked every summer. Oh, what about coming back? What about coming back? Yes, it's something that I started thinking about when I left 20 years ago. It would be nice to finish my career and come back where I started. You know, Barca, it's uh, my home. Oh my goodness! That was so sweet, I was questioning whether he'd even hit the net. Ranger spins his pass to Paul, who lets fly. Paul! Terrific play by Brandon Paul. And Paul at the other end for three is good! Brandon Paul. Oh my goodness! It's Paul out on the break and he jams it in.
Yoya on the run. Back to the half. Two badges. Inside the lob, oh baby! Oh, Real Madrid, showtime between the big men. Blocked by Giorgione. And the Fiacos, the first back-to-back -back EuroLeague champion since 2005. Only the third team since 1988 to do it. The first trophy of the early to land in the capital of Spain in 20 years. The script was written for Wilberkin. How many times has he done this in his career? Scotty Wilberkin matches his career high points performance. Wilberkin. And we're back. It's halftime. Olympiacos 35, Real Madrid 36. We're here with Brandon Paul, man. Brandon, you got any Pau Gasol memories, man? Uh, Pau, man, he's he's going to definitely be a Hall of Famer. Um, he's done so much for this game. Uh, playing with him with one year at the Spurs, you know, I learned a lot from him. He was a great teammate. Uh, always nice, you know, I was asking him questions and he was always always willing to help. Um, memories from not playing with him, I just remember that one play where he, he had a transition. He did some, like, behind-the-back, fake behind-the-back pass into, like, a, a loop pass. And I'm like, I don't know, this big is special. Some about the bigs yeah. that grew up in Europe, they're so fundamentally sound. And, um, yeah. you know, but he's, he's, he's had one hell of a career. And to see him retire and, and get his – I know. Hopefully, I mean, I think he's going to be a Hall of Famer without question. Um, for sure. Until that comes, I'm I'm very excited for you know what he has next up in his life. Indeed, man. I always, uh, you know, and I I just like to apologize for the technical difficulties, uh, but I always like to to see the uh, the Euro League or the the old European players like the old footage, like when they were like 16, 18 years old or, yeah. you know, right before, you know what I mean? They became like the legends that they are, man. I think it's just, it's always dope to go and uh, see that old footage, like, you know, Juan Carlos Navarro and, you know, just, I mean, the yeah, list goes yeah. on of all the great uh, European players, man, but uh, it's super dope. But everybody back home, please don't forget to uh, use our, our promo code, watch along 10. Uh, you can find all the information you need at Euroleague.net to uh, subscribe to Euroleague TV and catch all the Euroleague games from now until the rest of the season. But um, yeah, man, I think, uh, yeah, man, shout out to Powell and, uh, you know, great career along with his brother. His brother, I mean, his brother's still, still mm -hmm. putting in work, man. And, uh, you know, I just think it's, uh, I just think it's dope. I mean, can you imagine, I mean, just having a family, like two kids that are that good, you know what I'm saying? To be like basketball legends, like, you know, that's why it's good enough for right. me to get like one kid, you know what I mean? It's like, cause I know my brothers and sisters ain't doing nothing. Now, they, they weren't athletic at all. So to have two kids that's that athletically gifted, you know, that's crazy. Right. And they were crazy skilled too. And they both got rings. Indeed, indeed. Yes. Like, gotta, what, are the, what are the odds? That's what I'm saying, man. That's a, it's a good gene pool. It's a good gene pool. That's for sure. It got the uh, the clip guy from YouTube asked, asked Brandon, does he think that Paul, Paul Gasol can still play in the league? Yeah, I think so. Um, I, I can't attest to how he's feeling physically or mentally. Right. Um, right. But, you know, playing with him a few years ago and, um, you know, there's a handful of guys that can probably still play, but uh, they know when it's time, you know, time to call it. And he probably knew when it was time to call it for himself. Um, but, you know, he, he takes care of his body. I, I remember Tim Duncan used to come and play with us like the young guys. If we didn't play for a while, we'd come and play 
three on three, four on four, five on five. He'd come in, he'd get on the versus climber for, you know, 20, 30 minutes, which is the craziest thing I've seen. And he'd just play up and down with us. And I'm thinking to myself, like, man, Tim could still give people a, a solid 10 and seven in an NBA game, like right. across the season, like a solid 10 and seven with a few assists added to the list. So, you know, I, I definitely think Powell could probably still play if, if he really wanted to. Yeah, definitely. He's uh, he's definitely skilled enough, but it looks like we uh looks like we're getting back to this game, man. Real took that lead into into the locker room, but I don't think I don't think Olympiacos is going away. I think they uh I think they're gonna come ready for these uh for these next twenty minutes of basketball. Yeah. Definitely not gonna lay down easy. And I don't think Sasha's gonna miss too many more shots. I think he's over two right now no. from three. I don't see that last. Nah, he had a couple of good looks too. Oh, hey, it's another one, too man. Soon, huh? <laughs> man, he's had he's had three really good looks though. Yeah, he's had he some makes really good looks. So, so you know, it only takes one. A shooter it's like that, tough. it only takes one to go down. Right. Exactly. Definitely been through that. Good pass, good cut. Forgot about uh I forgot about uh wow. him. Yeah, Bobby a bucket too. Yeah. Oh my goodness. He can he can get in the game and give you a, a, a quick fifteen. Oh quick. An efficient fifteen. <laughs> An efficient fifteen, right. like five for six. A couple of free throws. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I don't think Walk Up wants to take those shots. Mm-mm. That's one person I used to hate having to guard in practice, uh, Tom Martel, because he was just on go mode at all times. He's like, he's yeah. like one of those players that only has one speed. And like right, as soon as he right. catches the ball, he's gone. I'm like, dang, bro. Switch with me, Doge. Come on, Jason. Switch with me. I was, <laughs> I wasn't trying to guard him at the point at all. Yeah, no, it's tough, man. Especially you. I mean, you could guard so many different positions too, man. Mm. It's like what? What was uh? What was one player in Euroleague you used to hate guarding? Man, you definitely don't, don't want to be caught on the island with Mike James. That's for sure. Um, yeah. Mike James is definitely one of them. I would say some of the smarter American Ooh, guards, wow. like that played in Europe so many years, like the Corey mm-hmm. Higgins, um, yeah. those type of guys where they, they just know how to play and, and they're so calm, cool, and collected. Uh, you can play hard against them, but they still get something off and you're just like, dang, it's tough. Right, right, right. You can't have them turnovers. So what do you think? What do you think Real Madrid needs to do to to kind of protect this leading and, and carry it home here on the road? They got to take away some of these open looks that Olympiacos is getting. I mean, they're missing a few. Like obviously Sasha's missed mm-hmm. a few, but he, I don't I don't they're not going to keep missing. They're at home. They got the crowd there. And like you yeah. said, it's only going to take one. Um, they're doing a j- good job clogging the paint, but they are getting some open looks. <clears throat> nah, indeed, man. I think yeah, I think they, especially they playing on the road, and playing on the road, I think you really got to take care of the ball, man. I mean, you know, because mm-hmm. a couple of those a couple of those turnovers they lead to a couple of dunks or anything like that. It really gives the team energy. Yeah, you definitely got to. Wow. Dang, he is right there too. Like it's like in there. It's, it's crazy. Oh, ooh, the pass though. Nice. See, that's mm. tough right there. See, uh, that's why. <laughs> that, those are that's why. <laughs> like you can't. You three, can't teach you gotta that. Love him. You can't. You can't. You can't, you can't buy that, that, man. Man. I mean, the first one was crazy when he hit it off the rim. Like, because I was going in. Nah, no. 
And one. And he comes down and gets See, that's and the thing. one. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's the thing. It's just like offensively on pick and rolls, he sets great screens and he's such a big target. And then defensively, man, yep. it's just like he get one block, and then even if you recover, man, he's he's liable to block it again. And uh, right, man, Tavares is he, he's a special, special player, man. And you got a big man knocking down free throws. What else you gonna do? Right. I mean, they got a good shot this year. Defense wins games, but rebounds win championships. Indeed. Another, Indeed. Another there we go, look. baby. There we go. There we go. There we go. See how Real responds. Just missed it. JL9 asks, who's a tougher player to defend, Scotty Wilbekin or Corey Higgins? Oof. I didn't spend a whole lot of time on Scotty, but I would say Scotty because he's got so much range. You know, Corey's yeah. going to play within the system a lot more than Scotty is. Scotty's a – he's one of those guys you definitely don't want to be caught on the island with. Um, he, he, can, he can turn up. I mean, he hit the game winner against us when we played against him when mm-hmm. I was on Olympiacos. Um, but yeah, you don't want to. I think Scotty's a little tougher. Yeah, Scotty's just because he's more too, offensively man. sound. Yeah. Yeah. You know, two different players. Corey's tough. He's he's a smart player. There you go. Oh. Welcome, gotta keep making plays. You do. You gotta keep you making do. plays. Oh, and one. And one. There you go. Mm-hmm. Pop turning up now. He's, hey. 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 Tell you, Lipiagos ain't going nowhere. Mm-hmm. I told you, you could change the game now. Mm hmm. Man, they start, they start knocking down some threes like that. They start knocking down some threes like because they've been kind of like you said earlier. They've been getting the shots. They've been getting those yeah. threes, man. They just been missing them. So another you another know, one. A, I would love to see a stat of how many shots Tavares knocks off the rim. For real, and how that compares? He like, has to be lead. He has players. to be at the top of the league like over the years. Oh, for sure, for sure. He's so good at it. Uh, big buck. Mm-hmm. That's a big three. Mm-hmm. That was a big pickup. That was a good. I, I like. Wow. I like that signing for uh, Real Madrid this year. Yeah, Sean's yeah. A, he's a warrior, man. He's a warrior. He's tough. He's tough. Yeah, this one might be go down to the wire. We definitely picked a good one today. For sure. I think Thomas Walker got to keep getting to the lane and making plays, especially for Indeed. the shooters. Doing a good yeah, job keeping been, him doing Thomas a good job. Back. Hanger. Mm. Oh. Oh my goodness! 
That was so sweet, I was questioning whether he'd even hit the net. Granger spins his pass to Paul, who lets fly. Paul! Terrific play by Brandon Paul. And Paul at the other end for three is good. Brandon Paul. Okay, we're back. Sorry about the technical difficulties. I have no idea what's going on, but uh, we're back. We're back. We, uh, we're we're back. in a tight game. We're in a tight game here. 48-45. Real Madrid up on Olympiacos, man. I feel like Olympiacos is right there, though. Mm -hmm. Olympiacos is right there. They definitely came out with some momentum, even though the score may not reflect it at the moment, but. I like the way they. Comes uh, down to I like it. the way they're playing. Yeah, when it comes down to it, they got to figure out how they want to guard these pick and rolls, because you got so many playmakers yeah. out there. It really doesn't matter who has the ball. Indeed. And I think the the scary part for Olympiacos is that Real bench was playing. I mean, you got Sergio and Nigel coming off the bench right now. Like that's uh mm -hmm. doesn't doesn't leave a lot of room for error. Nice floater. Yeah. Finally on the board uh, with something outside of a layup or a free throw, so that might get him going. Sasha, that is. Swing it. Got a space. Man, they playing some defense, though. Ooh. Yeah, there you go. Okay. It's another one. Okay, Sasha. It's another one. Chilling. That's, that's it's like we okay. said, that's all you need is just one or two to go in. Come on, man. Libyakos, Boogeyman. Boogeyman's coming back. Libyakos, <laughs> you don't want to see no, them at the end, man. Especially at the nah. home court. You don't want them on you your know, I, I gotta at the go. end of the game. When I watch basketball, I never, like, I don't really care who wins. You know, if I'm watching the NBA, I'm really only rooting for one team, and that's the Spurs. But I got to go with Olympiacos this game because I obviously got my ties with them. A couple right, of my boys right. playing. Yeah. There they go. Six they grooving. Real quick. They grooving. Just like that. Look at that ball pressure, too. Yeah, they're picking it up. Uh-oh. Sasha gonna hit a three one of these next plays. Let's see what they run here. Get something good. Oh, get something good. Get subs. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta change in there. Change the momentum up, get some defense. Oof. Yeah, one thing I one thing I noticed right there when he just called that foul, man, is like sometimes I feel like Biggs wait until you bring the ball down and set the screen, especially in the middle of the floor. I used to always want the Bigs to just come up, set it as high as possible so you can start yeah. getting downhill. You know what I mean? You get so much more room to work. For sure, man. And I it makes, it, it, makes it harder on the big to get back. Exactly, because now he has to make a decision. Is he going to come up or he's going to stay back? Like, he doesn't want to come up that high, yeah. you know, the big defender. Exactly. And I used to always tell my bigs, man, don't be a cone, bro. Like, come get him. Yeah, yeah. Dorsey been quiet today. He has. He had a, he had a big game against uh, Real when he was with uh, Maccabi. He had, like, 30 points. Oh, that's a tough shot. Oof. I think he put McKissick back in, put some pressure on the rim. Yeah. Rudy. Yeah, it was. There you go. That's throwing all that I'm weight ready. around. I'm ready to see Sasha go off, man. I think he got about 11 now, but he might end the game with 20 plus. Oh, tough pass. Mm hmm. Ah. How you feel about Olympiacos' uh, core group? 
You know, the guys mm-hmm. that's been there. Oh, man, that's a tough turnover. Yeah, but he gave it right back to him. Uh, yeah. I'm I'm still torn. I don't I don't know. I don't know. Um they got enough to compete. Mm-hmm. You know, they got a decent amount of shooters, playmakers. Um Oh wow. Now it's getting a little sloppy again. Yeah, it is. <laughs> That's where you gotta reel it in. Go. Nice easy bucket. Yeah, this one's definitely going down to the wire, man. It's so even too. Look at the bench scoring compared to the starting five scoring. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think, you know, it's gonna it's gonna be interesting. I think Shaq's definitely gonna come in at the top half of the fourth quarter. Yo, where would you have mm-hmm. where would you have Shaq on the list of like most athletic players in the in in Euro League? You got him, obviously. Derek Williams. Who else is a dumb? Jeff athlete? Taylor got to be up there too, no? Jeff has always been a Jeff, crazy you athlete could, too. Yeah. I, I, I guess um, you just don't see it as I'm not much. Sure. He's not. Yeah. He's not making as many highlights yeah. as the other guys, but I feel you though for sure. All right. Um. Shoot, athletes. Euro League. I feel like I'm. I feel like I'm missing somebody. Derek. Who else is crazy athletic? Uh, I don't know if Jan Vesely is athletic, is so athletic or he's just so big. Yeah, like he's always dunking <laughs> on somebody. He's always. I was about to say he's always good for a poster, <laughs> whatever it is. <laughs> exactly. Jan's always good for a poster. That's tough. Nigel. Man. That's tough. Okay. All right. We grow we grooving now. We grooving now. They they out here trading. I think when it gets to the fourth, deep in the fourth, you can't trade with Real Madrid. You can't trade any right. trade any baskets like that, because they're gonna win that one. They got too many weapons. Yeah, nah, for sure. Everybody back home, please keep leaving comments. We're going to get to them. We're going to get to your comments. We appreciate y'all sticking with us during this uh, during this watch along. Ten seconds left in the third. Olympiacos up two. They turn the corner. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, let's take another Making foul. a lot of fouls. Making use of their fouls. We got a timeout now. Yeah, Pablo gonna yeah, draw think, something I, up. I think uh, I think Real is definitely drawing something up for Nigel. Looks like they uh, they're definitely running it through on the last two uh, last two possessions. So what you what would you be saying in the huddle right now? If you're Olympiacos, what do you uh, what would you be saying in the huddle? What do you think the coach is saying in the huddle? I should say. Uh, well, what I would say is don't foul a jump shooter. I don't know how many fouls they have left to give, but you you got to be smart not to foul a jump shooter. They got enough guards. They got enough experience to have somebody to put a shot up when you're trying to foul. And the refs are going right. to give them the call. Yeah, that's Real Madrid. Uh, and rebound. The biggest thing is rebound because once that shot's up, even if you're scrambling, you still got Tavares yeah, you, you got to take care of. Yeah. For sure. No more for fouls sure. and think, get the uh, rebound. For sure. Yeah, I think uh I think definitely, man, you gotta you gotta anticipate that pick and roll is coming. I mean, Nigel's been he's been he's been eating off of that pick and roll the entire game. So Yeah. Seven seconds though, it's a little tight for a pick and roll, so it might be something. Yeah, what they did the slip. what they did with Sergio, they did the screen re screen. I think it might be a screen back mm-hmm. screen now. Uh-huh. To the corner, maybe? Yeah. Uh-oh. I think it might be a back screen for the inbounder, maybe. Okay. He loves that shot. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Almost fell. They could have. Almost tipped it in. 
It's the end of the third. That's a good, that's a good quarter. That's a good that's quarter. A great quarter. Uh, Olympiacos end too. Of, end of the third, man. We got uh we got Olympiacos up to on Real Madrid. Everybody back home, please, please, please don't forget to sign up for the fantasy challenge. It's free of charge. Have fun. Sign up with your friends, trade players. You know, it's great. It's great barbershop talk. Please go to fantasychallenge.euroleague.net. Also sign up for Euroleague TV. We got a special promotion. Type in watch along 10 as a promo code. You get to watch all the Euroleague TV games and, uh, you know, stay up to date on all the action. And uh, But like Brandon heading into this fourth quarter, Who's uh? Are you gonna are you gonna ride out Nigel for the rest of the uh the fourth? How are you gonna how are you gonna play? What do you see breaking down in the fourth quarter? Um, I think maybe you take him out to start if you want to finish with him. You know, I don't know. You know, some coaches they if when they want to play to finish, they gonna maybe sit him a few minutes mm-hmm. just so they know right. they have enough gas in the tank. Um, but yeah, you definitely gotta get him in there either before the game gets away, if he's out, or maybe the last five, six minutes. Mm-hmm. See if he can take over and keep control. He's still got enough pieces in there to, you know, Tom, he's, he's, he's more than capable of oh, keeping sure. around and checking. So we'll see how they ride it out. Yeah, I'm definitely, uh, I'm definitely going to give him, give him a little more time just to get another rhythm and then probably a quick breather and put him back in, depending on how things yeah. are going. But. We got a yeah, oh, we got that. a question from Irish Irish Spring. What are your thoughts about Monaco? They got two wins. Monaco, man. yeah. Oh, Monaco, coming. yeah. I Mike mean, they got to be hungry. There. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're I think they're gonna surprise right. some people. They really don't have much sure. to lose. They got some good people on the roster. Um, I was watching the game before this, and I and I just seen like oh, they got a solid roster. Some guys that can put the ball in the basket. Of course, Mike James sure. is a changer, and he hasn't yeah. really even got going yet. Like as much as we know, he can get going. So, I think exactly. they'll be tough this year. I mean, yeah, and I mean, I mean, they they lost. The, I mean, they won a tough game, you know, and in, uh, in overtime, you know, Unix pushed them, pushed them pretty hard, man. But they uh, they came out on top. But uh, yeah, I think uh, I think Monaco is definitely a team. People, if you're not taking notice. People definitely need to take notice because, uh, and I think they let people know today after winning eighty-eight to eighty um, yeah. against Unix. So, and this is their first year in Euro League ever, right? Yeah, I think yeah. ever. So I don't, I don't think they're gonna squander the opportunity. Oof! Nice, nice. Why I'm jumping? On you, you weren't gonna catch that. <laughs> it's the uh, it's the Tavares uh, right there. Nah. People don't even want to go in the paint when they see him. It's just like, ah. That's tough. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yo. Good pass. Good ball movement. Good ball move. Oof. Dang. What would they call a travel? Really? That's so that's it's so confusing these some of these calls. I guess yeah. they had to call that Not one. Sure. Yeah. Yo, where do you think uh Costas ranks in the best uh point guards in Euroleague? Where do you think he's at? Slukas? Yeah. Mm. That's tough to say. He's so solid. He's been so solid for years too. Yeah. How many years was he with Fenerbahce? He was there oh, for a, a handful of years before oh, before he came nice. back. My goodness. Tough. My so goodness. He was solid, though. Indeed. Indeed. You got court vision. Top 10 all time for assists in your league. Oh, foul. Mm-mm. 
Yeah, they're gonna have to call that one. Yeah. <laughs> it's always so funny to me. Like, I mean, you, you notice this when you watch like basketball on TV. You know, guys be arguing fouls, and they really believe they didn't foul nobody. And then you see it on oh TV, my. and it's like <laughs> it's the it's worst in the league. It's just like you guys know there's instant replay. So I, I right. either. Maybe you're trying to get the call, but there's times where it's like the call's over, the call's been made, and it's not going to change. Why are you still right. like barking about it? It's clearly a foul. Yeah. yeah, it's funny, man. Hey, they should take like a poll and ask players like, out of how many, out of however many fouls they had in their career, what percentage of them were really fouls? I'd be interested to see just what people think. You know what I mean? Because no player ever Bro. thinks they foul that much. If a player goes home with five fouls, he really thinks he had two. You know? That's true, man. But I but there's a big difference between the players that really think they don't foul. Like, those are the type of people. The ones that foul, like a hack, like borderline flagrant foul, and they're, Bucket. like, confused and looking at the ref. Yep, there you go, yeah. right there. Those are the same people to park in an illegal spot and get mad when they get a ticket. It's just like, bro, <laughs> what are you talking? What are you talking about? You made your bed. <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> That's a great analogy for sure, man. Uh, man. Sasha might show the double double now. Yeah, yeah he might. we'll give it back to him. I know. Give me one That's more. Good. Ooh, that's a hey. That was a good. One. Yeah. Rudy did a good job pre-rotating on Sasha, but he had to give up that one in the corner. Olympiacos is yeah. open. Real quick, around the league, Cheska's up, uh, leading against Ephes. Looks like Ephes might be on two after today if they don't if they don't change it up. Asvel, Asvel is winning against Berlin, and Milan is beating Basconia right now. You can catch all that on Euroleague TV. Don't miss the action. Nigel from deep missed everything. Mm. Yeah, that's all tough. Good. It's the best right when the announcers. It's the best when the announcers say something about shots like that, and it's off mm -hmm. the mark. Doesn't even get close. It's just like borderline <laughs> disrespectful. <laughs> yeah, Sasha's brother. last one was deep too. Yeah, no, nah, it's deep. It's deep too. He gonna he gonna hit another one. Oof. Oof. Good pass. Wow. And a bucket. And a bucket. Yeah. They coming away with this. Yeah, they got that momentum right now. I'm not happy about that call. Let's look at it here. That was that was good. He protected yeah. it with his off arm. Yeah, he did. He did. I could almost say that that might be a no call because the contact was made by the offensive player doing this, right? Going up with his right, protecting with his right, left. Right, right, right. Tavares didn't really go at it, but that's a tough call. It's a tough call for the ref. It, it is, man. That is a tough call for the ref. And I feel like bigs always want that call, though. They always mm. want it, but... Yeah, it's tough. It's like when guards want that one call. We when we when the guards do that, I haven't mm -hmm. even learned that. Like I don't even. I, I hate that so much. I haven't even learned to do it myself. I, I find my own ways to get calls. You, know, <laughs> you refuse. You refuse, huh? I refuse. You I can't your do soul it. One time. I'll, nah, I'll flop on a charge or something, or give a holler when I go to the lane. But I can't do that whole locking up arm stuff. That's that. That makes me want to fight, low key. <laughs> Man, why? Wait, wait till you stop ass. getting around people. <laughs> when your legs, yeah, start, it's you know, true. <laughs> when you stop getting around people, you gonna start. That's you gonna true. Start thinking of some stuff. You gonna start looking back at some old tapes. Like, man, I should have learned this years ago. <laughs> I don't know. They you got juice in your leg. Madrid got good. Madrid got to uh, stop the bleeding. They got to bring Indeed. something. Indeed. Indeed. They're ready to knock the ball yeah. off the rim. It's like every oh, yeah. play. Man, you gotta you gotta practice that. It saves you though, man. That's I mean you could save like 
four points a game off of that alone, though. True. If you think about it. Adam Hanger on cue. Hey, mm-hmm. I love his game, man. It's like he doesn't even need to touch the ball that often to affect the game. Just yeah. on both ends. They'll get him they'll get him an old board or a put back or something, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. Make us make his presence known. Ball hawk. Taylor hawking the ball right now. Both of them, him and him. Uh, they said all right, yeah. we gotta put some defense in here. Mm-hmm. Slow it down. Oh, go! Angle was open. Yeah, he was. That's a charge. Oh, we got one ref calling the charge, one calling the block. That's the worst. The charge. Which way is it going? What, what, what do you see it as? That's the worst. What do you see it uh, as? He might have still been moving, but player control. Oof. I think it's a block. Yeah. It's a block, yo. He's moving. Yeah. He's moving. He was still in motion. But one of them was uh-huh. so sure with the charge. Like he was he was kind of caught in the caught in the uh, motions of the game. He called it too too yeah. early. He was he was so sure of it. Yeah, cuz I mean he was he wasn't slowing down. He wasn't going to be able to slow down, but Yeah. Uh, that's definitely a block. Yeah, they kept it. They kept it. It's a good call. Telling you, man, being a ref is tough. You got everybody yelling at you at all points. No friends. Fans, coaches, players. Everybody. But it is the job you picked, huh? Yeah. Indeed. Indeed. Respect to respect to all the refs out there, man. Man, I think people don't understand like how hard it is to be a ref. You literally have to stay in shape. You have to run. You know what I mean? It's a it's a tough job. You got to know the game. You got to know the game and Fuck the it. rules of the game and and how much it's evolving. It's kind of you kind of got to be a student of the game, just like players. For sure. As Tyler Dorsey just hits a little bucket. Now they up ten. They running away with this. Yeah. You know, going in. Uh, you know, going into this game, Sasha only needed six points to get a thousand points in Euroleague. You know, he's got sixteen right, right now. Yeah, so he's over a thousand for his yearly career. That's dope. Uh oh, give it up. Find somebody. That's tough. Mm. He might have did one of those uh the grabs. Anga is a menace on the ball though. He is, man. You too. Ravender says, "Let's go Madrid." <laughs> got a lot of we got a lot of. How many Madrid fans we got out there? Mitrich has thirty-two points right now. Somebody said oh, wow. Mitrich going crazy over there. Yeah, he had twenty-one and a half. Oh, good block. Some light. Good block. Man, you think uh, you think Real's gonna be able to come back in this one or what? I think they will. I mean, it's Real, so they'll give themselves a chance. But I think Olympiacos has so much momentum, and yeah. I think the last minute and a half they're gonna take back over. They might get it close in the next two, three mm-hmm. minutes, but the last minute and a half, I think it'll, I think it'll be over. Yeah, they definitely gonna need some buckets right now. There you go, yeah. Nigel. You start chipping away at the line quiet. too, man. Nah, he has. He has. Mm. Wow, but Olympiacos is playing a good game today, man. It's not even been like their best game, but um, you know, right. I think they they play solid, you know, on both ends. Uh, you know, they haven't won a championship since twenty thirteen. Uh, where where you see them finishing this? Where do you guess that they'll finish? I know it's way too early, but we're we're into way yeah. too early predictions here. So uh, where you see them finishing this year, Olympiacos? Um, thinking about the rest of the league, 
they got a chance, man. They got a chance to make the playoffs. Um, Final I mean, Four it's chance. Been a long time coming. While we got you on the record and everything's being recorded, Final Four. <laughs> Let's see. Let me think about who else is in your league. You got Barca. You got Madrid. Milan's tough. Cheska's tough. I don't know if they got the Final Four in them. You know, best of luck to them to do it. You know what? No, I think they do. I think they do. Okay. All right. I think they got enough pieces to put it together. Oh, tough bucket. I put my money on Olympiacos getting to to the Final Four. Okay. That is tough. You you, you You got a couple fans in the in the YouTube comments. Constantine. I'm sorry if I'm messing your name up. Constantinos Paolo and uh, White Gr are definitely Olympiaco hey. supporters here in the uh, yes in, in the comments, man. So shout out to Constantinos. Oh, uh oh, you gotta get something going. Getting a little sloppy. Nothing. It is. Reel it in. Reel it in. Got time, baby. We got time. Yeah, Tyler just hit a tough one. Let him groove. Oh, we give it right back to him. It's mm, not what you wanted. Olympiacos fans are very, the... very passionate, man. Oof. Yeah, it's tough. They got a minute. I think they got a minute to try to get back in it because once they're trading right now and Olympiacos is winning that battle, the trading battle, the back and forth. Yeah. Yeah, man, I think uh, Olympiacos defense, man, is, is definitely earned some credit today. Mm-hmm. They've definitely earned some credit, man. They've, you know, they, they've hung in there. I think uh looks like Real Madrid is shooting two for 22 from three this game. Nine percent. Two for 22. That's crazy, tough. right? You can't really give yourself but a I chance mean, to do that. Oh. Yeah. But, I mean, hats off to Olympiacos, man, getting out there and, uh, and, uh, and contesting. They came with it today. Yeah. Yeah, Olympiacos is uh is definitely doing their thing. Shaq attacking the rim is, is a problem. Indeed. Oof. Need that. Cheska's up three against Ephes right now. Another league news. I think that game's coming down to the wire. Yeah. Three point game. Two and a half. That might be a game I have to go. I might have to go back and watch that game on Euroleague TV. I might add. Rudy, oh, oh come on, Rudy. Sorry, right, we'll get it back. We'll get it back. We'll get it back. Yeah. <clears throat> Everybody back home, please. Go watch Euroleague TV. Go catch all the games that you miss. I know you guys are sitting here enjoying our time with us, but uh, there's a lot of great games uh, going on. So go to Euroleague TV and type in the promo code WATCHALONG10. Watch along in the number 10 uh, for 10% off, excluding those of you that live in Italy and Spain. As we come down a two-minute two minute mark, down 10. Sasha. Right place, right time. I think big, that was his tenth rebound. Big rebound. Big yeah. rebound. Big rebound. I think they. I think they score here. It depletes them. Oop. It's over. Good defense. Uh, We're going down. That's Madrid ball. He should have. He should have let that floater go as soon as he caught it. Facts. Yeah. Sasha with fourteen and ten. Fourteen and ten. It's a heck of a game. Minute 47. Minute 47. You got to fight to the end. You can man. never count Real Madrid out, though. You can't You can't cut them out. 
But this is where this is where you're saying that like point the point differential at the end of the game comes real important, man. So you gotta fight to the end. Right. Yeah. Oh, big dunk. Lucas got that left to right. You know it's coming. Oh, he lost it. Mm. Dang. Wow. Did they call um, the sportsman light? Yeah, I don't they know. I got to gotta see. They're running the. Yeah. So he's out of there. I mean, you can't count them out, but it's tough, man. They're running out of time now. And Olympiacos, they've been, yeah. they've been solid the whole game. Oh, for sure, man. And I think, I mean, even if you look at, like, the breakdowns, I think anytime you can hold a team to, like, a 15-point quarter, 15 or less, I think uh, mm -hmm. if you can get multiple multiple 15-point quarters, man, I think you uh, you definitely got a chance, man. And viewers at home, please let us know who your MVP is tonight. You know, we need to know. As we come down to the last minute, we got the swag chance for Nulis. <laughs> I got to ask him about his watch guy when I go back to Greece. Okay. I asked him before, but I never followed up on it. Okay. Now, I think uh, at this point, man, you just got to play solid. Just gotta play solid. Yeah, Obviously, wow. Real's gonna try and get some buckets, but you know, yeah, definitely, definitely don't want to foul. Mm. You know what? Sasha's having a game. Him. Yeah, Indeed. he's having a game, and he still, he still could have shot it a little better. I know he's probably gonna be mad at himself, but he's such right. a good shooter. If you imagine just a couple more shots fall, it's probably even a different game. For sure. I give himself a little bit more comfort comfortability. Yeah, they got a packed house tonight. Peace and friendship gets crazy, man. That's it's a great stadium to play in. You know, I think they definitely, man, they definitely gave gave these guys some energy, man. They were able to string some runs in, you know, in the uh in the second half. And, you know, the fans. That's why you want to play at home, man. Exactly yeah. why you want to play at home. If I'm if I'm one of these fans at the end of the game, like the game's over, you got 30, 30 seconds left, forty five seconds, I'm getting up out of there because the parking and traffic is so oh, it's crazy. crazy. Yeah, bro, it's it's not it's not, the traffic's not like Istanbul traffic, but people park anywhere in Greece. Like they park, they get out there, they just okay, this is where I want to park right now. And they get out and park. Right. And then other people see it and they follow suit. Yeah. Imagine these this one. You know, these teams, you know, these two teams met. It was uh, the very first modern day Euroleague game back in uh, October 16th, really? year 2000. Yeah. Wow. These two teams are met. Modern day Euroleague. Okay, down seven, minute 15. Definitely got to press up. Yeah, definitely got to press up. Maybe get a quick trap or just some heavy ball pressure. What you doing? Um, I would definitely not do give them to the corner like that, but. Oh, I think that would have oh, been the perfect spot to trap. Oh, yeah. As soon as he gave it back to him in that corner, that would have been the perfect spot to trap. Right. I think you just do it like that should have been like automatic. yeah yeah that's what I'm saying just instinct just instinct like you should have just did it like that should have just been an instinct play even if it wasn't drawn up that was a heads up play by a walk up though for sure it's a Euro drawn vet play foul. man <laughs> you yeah. know it's a Euro vet play.
Was there a particular spot you guys used to go as a team after uh, after games, after wins at Olympiacos? Not really. I think a lot of guys went and did their own thing. Um, okay. You know, a, a lot of the Greek guys had their own families. Uh, mm-hmm. I don't want to give up the player's spot, you know. I, I don't want to blow up the spot. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, it's yeah, still yeah. my spot, too. You. When I'm out there, it's still my spot. Right. <laughs> but I used to have people okay. over at the crib. I used to entertain and have people over. Um, I went to the Fantasia a couple times, which is the big concert venue where they have the the Greek music and everything. One of the one of the funnest atmospheres I've ever been in. Uh, we did that okay. as a team once. I went with some of my Greek teammates. It was a lot of fun. Okay. They got the live music and they got the flowers. Like the flowers is a big thing, you know, in their culture. You you get the flowers and you throw it on stage when you when you like the performance. And uh, oh. So, Big bucket, big bucket. We got life. Yeah. We got life here. It was a three-point game now. Yeah. What happened? We got life here. You gotta get the ball in. Let's see. Just play solid. Just play solid. Oh, he's gonna catch it in the corner again. Ah! Yeah. All right, play solid. Play <laughs> solid. You just need to stop. Let's play solid. Let's go, baby. I wouldn't mind another. I wouldn't mind a, another overtime game, or better yet, a game winner. Oh, you count oh. that? Oh, bucket! Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looked yeah, like yeah. it hit the glass. It looked like it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it did. It did for sure. Yeah. I thought it was gonna float it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Got to get a quick win. one, for sure. Uh oh. Oh. Tough. It's over. What are you? What are they waiting for? That's tough. Tough man. Let Piaco Yo, man. play tonight. Yo, man. Uh, so you, I, I heard you turned thirty this year. You know, congrats on that. Welcome to the thirty club. Welcome to the thirty club. Thank how do you, you thank how do you reflect you. 30, back 30. on your uh, career now? How, how do you reflect back on your career now? Uh, it's just amazing to see all the places basketball has taken me. Um, more more than that, just the names I play with, like the legends that I've been able to say that were my teammates. You know, Spinulis, uh, even like in the league, Manu. Tony, mm-hmm. all these guys, Powell, um, LA who retired and came back, you know, Marcus, like all these guys, it's, it's just been amazing. Yeah. Uh, and just thinking about it, it's just like, I kind of like look back like, dang, this, this really happened like this. And, um, you right. know, all, all blessings to God, you know, he's, he's definitely blessed me in my career and my life. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's a, a you, you definitely had it. Yeah, you had a dope career, and uh, and Lipiakos, uh just just got the win. I think they played uh, they played a heck of a game, especially on the defensive end, man. And they uh, they were able to knock down some shots in the end, man. Who's your who's your MVP of the game? I gotta give it to Sasha Vezinkov, man. He he willed them to the win. Um, he wasn't he wasn't trying to lose at all, you know. And when his shot wasn't falling, he was finding other ways to affect the game, and and that's what you can ask for in a teammate. So. I gotta give it to him. They played yeah, all the game. They sure. played a they played a complete game. They played a complete game against a great team. Indeed, indeed, man. And uh, yeah, I definitely think Sasha Sasha is definitely the MVP of the game for me, man. And uh, I really appreciate your time, Brandon. Really appreciate you coming uh, coming on and, and watching this game with us, uh, especially with your busy schedule over there, man. Best of luck to you this season. Any any shout out, any any love you gotta give to your to your peoples? Yeah, shout out to my people back home, you know, uh, everyone that's probably tuned in. Uh shout out to Olympiacos for getting the win. Um and you know, just we play tomorrow night and hopefully we get that win. We get, we're we're back at home, so it's gonna be a good game for us. Spanish league is right. tough, so just gotta stay prepared. Indeed. Indeed, indeed. And everybody back home, please like and subscribe. Go to EuroLeague.net for all of your EuroLeague info. 
Once again, please uh, subscribe to EuroLeague TV as well so you don't miss any action this year. Uh, we got two. We got a doubleheader up for you next week, October 12th, for the uh, Anadolu FS in Asheville game. We got Eric McCullum hopping on, a bucket getter. And uh, for the October yeah. 14th game of uh, Alba and Basconia, we got my man Peyton Siva joining us. We got a big, big week next week. Hope you guys all can uh, tune in. Everybody back home, stay safe, be well, and uh, yeah, go on, go on play some fantasy uh, fantasy Euro League basketball while you at it. And we'll see you guys next week. Everybody, be safe, and we're out.